Salut everyone, I've been trying to avoid to talk about this subject for a long long time in any of my previous videos, but here we are. We're gonna talk about Microsoft and especially one of their latest features, Microsoft Recall. Let's get into it. As always, let's start with a little bit of context. If you didn't hear about Microsoft Recall feature, in the last, like I would say, six or seven months, well, you have been living under a rock. Everybody has been talking about it, and it's kind of scary. So for the one who are late to the party, I'm going to go through the Microsoft website because they're going to be the one describing the, the better what it's all about. But the idea is that you're going to be able to search across time to find the content you need from your previous browsing experience, like consulting experience on your operating system. So with Recall, you have an explorable timeline of your PC past. Just describe how you remember it and Recall will retrieve the moment you saw it. Any photo, link or message can be fresh point to continue from. Snapshot of your screen will be saved only if you opt in the future. If you opt into the future, then as you use your PC, a snapshot of your screen will be saved. Snapshots are taken periodically while content on the screen is different from the previous snapshot. Your snapshots are then locally stored and locally analyzed on your PC. Recall analysis allows you to search for content, including both images and text using natural language. Trying to remember the name of a Korean restaurant your friend Alice mentioned? Just ask Recall and it retrieves both text and visual match for your search. Automatically sort by how closely the result match your search. Recall can even take you back to the exact location of the item you saw. So you get the whole idea, right? It's, it's pretty scary, but from my perspective, Recall is just another type of spyware that uh, will just spy on your activity on your operating system. So the good news when I heard it, and, and that's one of the things I didn't want to, you know, uh, get into, is the fact that this specific feature requires specific hardware. And if you go uh, on, again, on the Microsoft web page there, it's written here that for enabling this feature, you need a Copilot Plus PC. And what is a Copilot PC? plus PC, if you ask. Uh, those are the new class of Windows 11 AI PCs that are powered by a turbocharged neural processing unit, aka NPU, a specialized computer chip for AI intensive processes like real-time translation and image generation that can perform more than 40 trillion operations per second. So, you know, in my head, I was like, we are safe. We are safe because most of us are not going to have this specific hardware. And, you know, if you want to use Windows 11, why not? You won't even have access to the future because you're going to require a specific hardware that most of us won't have. And the other point was related to the fact that by default, snapshots for recall are not enabled. And because they are not enabled, I want to believe Microsoft. <laughs> I don't, but I want to believe Microsoft and think that they won't activate this feature without you accepting it. Right? Right? <laughs> well, the latest video of uh, Chris Titus Tech kind of like says the opposite. So I won't be playing it. I'm going to put the link in the description below, but I'm pretty sure most of you already watched this video. And what is really kind of like scary here is the fact that Recall itself from his testing is not uh, limited to the special Copilot Plus PC. It's being installed on every system in Windows 11, 24H2 and beyond. So it's going to be there. It's ready to go whatever hardware you use. Now, the big takeaway from this video, I really invite you to go watch it because I don't want to spoil it. But the idea is that now this function is also 
um, dependency for Windows Explorer. And if you look at just the thumbnail here, you will see that if you use Recall, you will have like, you know, this nice Explorer. But if you don't use Recall, you're going to have like the old school Explorer from, you know, Windows 10 or whatever. Like I, I don't use Windows. Like I didn't use Windows for three years now. So I don't really know what are the features of the Explorer, but you get the idea. And if you look at the video itself, you will really understand like how hard it is to disable and how it's going to impact your overall experience. That's, that's a big takeaway of the video. Now you understand that this type of like move from Microsoft kind of break the trust, which was pretty slim already, uh, to Windows in general, right? Because what is going on is you're going to be in a position where you don't really know what is happening on your PC because they said that this feature wouldn't be there, but it's there now. They said that this feature wouldn't be enforced, but indirectly it's enforced. You won't have all the special like feature within uh, Explorer, which is kind of like important as a file manager on, on, on your operating system. And uh, on, on top of that, now we break this, you know, like trust. You don't even know what they are doing with the data because on paper, the data is supposed to stay on your computer, but is he really staying on your computer? So I don't want to be this guy, which is going to tell you that it's better on Linux because obviously like you're going to have more privacy on Linux and more freedom, but you know, you are not really private. Like there is a lot of things that need to be talked about. And that's why I don't want to go into this type of video already. But the reality is that right now, with the direction that Microsoft is going, if uh, the finding of Chris are true, and I believe they are true, uh, you're going to be in a position really soon that if you want to keep that privacy at a pretty high level, which means like not having screenshot of your activity on your operating system being taken like every two seconds, uh, you're going to have to take a decision, right? You're going to have to find a way to disable it, which could be possible. I, I believe like Chris was able to disable it, uh, but you're going to lose feature. Or you're going to be in a position where you're like, okay, I want to ditch the system and I want to move to something else. And the alternative, there is not like thousands of them. Right now, as we are talking, there is Mac, which are providing like a good alternative, but the price to enter is, is pretty expensive, I would say. And you have on the other side Linux, uh, which is available now, uh, but you know it's gonna ask you a little bit of time on your hand uh, to be able to switch your habits from Windows to Linux. And this, my friend, is gonna be a requirement, mandatory, if you wanna you know avoid recall. And the purpose of this video really is. To explain you guys that there is no best time to switch to any other alternative operating system if you are on Windows. And what happened to me uh, three years ago, I did switch to Linux for a simple reason. It's like in my workflow, Windows was always a pain. So I was streaming and I had like both of my machine running Windows at the time and my streaming PC out there. Uh, for whatever reason, after an update, all my settings related to sounds will just like change. And I know there is way to stop uh, on Windows certain update of the driver. But the funny part is like even by doing that, certain Windows updates themselves will override the tweak I made on my Windows operating system. And I will be early in the morning around like 7 a.m starting the stream because I was starting pretty early here in North America and I will find myself in a position where I had no sound on my stream and I had to stop it, restart it, reconfigure everything and it started to really type on my nerves because it just happened a lot of time. Uh, the other issue was not even related to privacy to be fair, it was more related to the control of my machine. I, I was just tired of having like application on my Windows machine like I didn't want to use and I was not even using. I'm thinking about Candy Crush Saga, for example, like we just like pop out after de disinstalling like many times on my main PC, Windows 10, 
I would have this issue coming back again and again. And I felt like I was not in charge of my own hardware. And this is why I was like, you know what? I'm going to switch to Linux. We'll see what happened. If it's trash, I'm going to go back to Windows and deal with it. And it took me some time to get up to speed. Even if I had like prior experience to Linux, like I've been using on the side, like Linux for my home lab and for over like uh, stuff on the side on, on like on a server level. And I've been on this quest of learning Linux for like more than 20 years. Like I, I was already on Linux uh, before Debian was released to give you an idea. So do you need 20 years to learn Linux? No, I would say right now uh, it's it's the best time to switch from windows to linux there, there, there was there is no better time uh, to switch from windows to linux right now because it's 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 so easy it is so easy is it gonna be a smooth transition no i won't lie to you like it's it's gonna be a little bit hard for you especially if you never use uh, linux before but it's not going to be that hard. You just have to change a little bit of your habits. And again, like the purpose of the video is just to show you that right now I'm able to record everything on my uh, streaming PC, which is running Linux. I'm going to be editing this video on Linux. I've been streaming on Linux. I've been creating content on Linux. I've been gaming on Linux. And even if there is still some restriction, my honest point of view is to tell you guys that those restrictions are still not as i would say like bad as what recall is going to be on your pc and again this is just my point of view and i will tell you guys like just just try it just jump on linux just give it a try i made a lot of tutorial out there a lot of content there is a lot of communities out there which are going to help you to make the transition. So by saying that I, I don't win anything really, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just sharing my thought with you guys because I think we're going to be at a point where when a recall is going to be pushed to everyone out there, some users are going to be in the rush to transition and rushing thing is not good. And especially when you have to rush your workflow, when you have to rush your habits, because most of us are spending so much time on the PC nowadays for work, for, for everything, is that you're going to be in this weird like momentum which going to maybe like lock you into Microsoft because you were not able to, you know, uh, see what's coming up for you guys. So again, like this is not me praising like super hyper privacy, but like this, this recall feature is just a disaster, right? Like, it's, it's a disaster in a way that we don't know what they are doing with the data. Uh, it's, a, it's a disaster in a way that even if the data is not pushed to Microsoft, uh, if someone has access to your PC, they can have access to everything you have done. I'm not saying you're some, doing something bad, right? But like, it, it's kind of scary. Uh, we, we don't know what type of data are going to be shared. If for whatever reason your PC gets infected, you could have a third party user which will have access to all your history which is just insane it's just crazy uh, so guys you know you do whatever you want to do uh, I'm, I'm i'm just saying here if, if you want to jump on linux this is now okay like just just get any distro out there and you will see that and especially if you, if you are not gaming if you are just like using a pc uh, for printing, for doing some uh, office work, for browsing, for doing what, you know, most of us guys are doing on a PC, watching videos and stuff like that. Linux is just awesome. Okay, like you won't need Windows ever again. So guys, that's all. I know it's not like a crazy video. It's not something insane, but I felt like I needed to share my experience and my vision here uh, toward you guys, especially if you are still using Windows and you don't see like the big, big culprit you're going to hit in the coming months if you don't want to be part of this. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you liked anything, 
please give a thumbs up. If you have any experience on, on moving from Windows to Linux, just put a comment down there uh, to make sure like all the new viewers, all these videos, they, you know, they, they're going to be like kind of like comforted in the fact that switching to Linux is not that hard. And also, I want to thank all the members of La Crème de la Crème Club. Guys, you are the best. You are supporting this channel financially, which is going to help it grow in the future. YouTube member, Patreon member, all of you who gave donation through PayPal, you're the best. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bisous, bisous.